Hello, welcome to the actualization zone and your weekly weather report. How are you? If you, you guys, I am here at the beach again. We're here to watch the Yankees play the Anaheim Angels this week. And you know me when I'm when I'm traveling, you can never predict or control the sounds that are going to come through. So hopefully we'll have a clear connection as we are working together today. This is your weekly weather report for August 30. What's today? The 29th. It's almost the end of the month, actually. Holy smokes. And so August 29th, 2022, we're heading into September. And I am excited because I am launching the first ever beta class for the McKay actualization method, which is for coaches, therapists, counselors, anybody who are professional helpers who want to get some new skills, develop some new insights, and take their practice with individual clients to the next level to help them actualize their hopes and dreams even quicker. So if that's something that resonates with you, drop a drop a more information comment into, into the comments and let me know and we'll get you on the early notification list about the McKay actualization method. In the meantime, I drew some cards today from Rebecca Campbell's deck, Work Your Light. And let's see if I can find that. It's this one right here. Work Your Light. So cute. Love this little this little deck of cards. And then I also drew one from my um, my crystal deck as well to give us some extra support. So today, um, a couple of things. First of all, what we want to pay attention to in the weather reports, this isn't predictive necessarily. It just is what are the energies that are available to us this week that are going to be supportive in advancing our greatest hopes, dreams, and heart's desires. So the first one that comes up is this card that's called Break the Chain. Break the Chain. And the comment here is to clear ancestral patterns, to heal and to rewrite the future. Remember that the definition of crazy, crazy is to do the same thing over and over again and expect different results. So today and early this week is a good day and a good time to rewrite how you want your future to go rather than recreating the wheel over and over and over again. You can ask questions like, what's the best of what is possible for me for the rest of this week, for the rest of this year even and beyond, but start rewriting your future. And you can do that just in your journal actually, but just even being in the question of how does my future self carry herself? How does she hold herself? What are the things that she does that I would love to be doing and start moving in the direction of those answers that come to you during that conversation with yourself. So this is a good week to start rewriting your future. All right. And the next one is this one on, it's the great gathering. It's everybody coming together. Um, and it's all coming together. Actually, this is about finding and aligning with your soul tribe. It's about, paying attention to your intuitive nudges that you get. You may have seen a post I made a little while ago. It was one of those posts that just went crazy on my social media. And it was um, every time you ignore your intuition, a fairy loses her wings. So pay attention to your intuition and save the fairies. And this is a really good reminder to know that our guides are always communicating with us. They're always giving us nudges, but it's our responsibility to pay attention to those nudges and to take action on them. So when you get your intuitive hits, even if they don't make logical sense to you, just move in the direction of them. See what happens and then make your decision the right decision. That's basically what it means to lead yourself is you follow your intuitive hits and then you get curious about what's next by saying, I'm just going to make this the decision, the right decision for me. All right. Then we have the priestess card. And this is a signal. This is a signal and a calling to you specifically around the question, how are you being called to step up and lead? How are you being called to step up and lead? 
I know this doesn't happen in my spaces, but in a lot of spaces, there are people who are still spinning. There are people who are still trying to figure things out. And listen, we're all trying to figure things out to some degree, of course. But there are still people, it galls me to say, but there are still people who are really looking for somebody else to tell them what to do. Um, as you know, this is a time of sovereignty. This is a time of sacred autonomy. It's not a do-it-yourself approach, but it is a lead yourself and make your decisions the right decision. So what are you being called and how are you being called to lead today in this moment, this week, this month, this year, in the future? How are you being called to lead? Not waiting for somebody else to tell you what to do, but make some decisions for yourself about what are the best places for me to be sharing my light to be, as one of my teachers calls it, she says, be the lighthouse, not the life raft. So you don't have to rescue anybody, but just lead and lead well and start with yourself. And then the last card that came forward today is a card of protection. The card of protection is just about calling all your power back to yourself, cutting all of the hooks and the cords and clearing all of the space, clearing your field so that then you can begin discerning what's my stuff and what's everybody else's. You are not designed to process other people's stuff. It's not possible. So because it's not possible, you can just let it go. But first you have to get really crystal clear. Is this mine or is this somebody else's? So by cutting the cords and clearing your field, you can start to discern, is it mine or somebody else's? And if it's somebody else's, guess what? You let it go, you bless it, release it, send it back into the light. Um, I, you know, I, I work with the Lemurian High Council and they always speak to me in crystals. So the crystal that they gave us or the stone that they gave us this week to focus on to support, to support this journey that we're on is Moonstone. Isn't that beautiful? So moon, uh, Moonstone is associated with the crown chakra. The crown chakra is your connection with all that is and it's where all of your gifts are stored. All of your gifts are in the crown chakra. If you can imagine this, that your crown chakra is a thousand pointed lotus and every petal on that lotus is another of your gifts, to share your gifts. So the moonstone associated with the crown chakra and is in alignment with transcendence. So this week, especially, but even as we head into September, this is about transcendence, transcending where you've been before, being the bridge to what's next for you, what's next for your life, what's next for your leadership, and really coming into your own as a leader, making decisions that are in alignment with your highest level of leadership, making decisions that are in alignment with the life that you have envisioned, and beyond anything else, transcending self-doubt, self-sabotage, self-betrayal, anywhere where you are people-pleasing, anywhere where you are questioning your own abilities, those are all very human experiences, don't get me wrong, but they are all calling to be transcended. And that's really the overall me arching message here is transcend those limiters that your brain has created for you. Sometimes you can do that on your own. A lot of times you need support with that. That's one of the reasons that I'm teaching the actualization method coming up in, in September. That's one of the reasons I've had the accelerator, the actualization accelerator start in August, and we're going to be continuing that as well. So there are a lot of different ways that you can engage with me, engage with my methods and my practices in order to support yourself as you transcend all of the things that have been keeping you in stasis, all of the things that have been kind of limiting where you're meant to be headed. Okay, so I look forward to seeing you soon. And until next week, ciao for now.